Chuck Arlen. It's hot being me. I'm gonna tell you how to make your girls look powerful and strong and awesome, man. It's gonna be great. We're gonna rock it. All right. Hi, Chuck Arlen. Welcome to DWFU. Yeah, I'm gonna keep looking at you too because that's kind of yeah. fun. I'm kidding. Um, <clears throat> what I want to give you is a little technique I learned when I was shooting corporate portraiture, and it's about giving the photograph presence over the viewer. And when we shoot a CEO of a company, um, one of the things that we're told is to shoot underneath their eye as opposed to above their eye, and it's a real subtle difference. Um, and you'll notice that happens in a lot of fashion, which is what I'm going to talk about in a second. The reason is, when you look at the photograph, the photograph is now looking at the viewer as opposed to the you looking at the photograph. And when a CEO sends out the annual report, he wants to make sure that that photograph is looking at his people. Um, much like this picture right here, Italian Vogue. By the way, best posing guide you can buy, $15.95. It's got everything in it. But she has presence over the viewer. So this photograph is looking at me. I'm not looking at her. And as we go through the magazine, even the back cover, you'll notice that a lot of fashion is focused, like the plane of focus is in the midsection, kind of splitting it almost evenly, giving her a almost superhero, but not shot too far under, but right in the middle. Um, and they're looking at me. I'm not looking at her. And I can flip through this magazine. Even the ones that are like that, they're almost always going to be camera position right in the middle as opposed to above the eye. You know, just go any fashion magazine. It's kind of stupid. Right there. Can you see this? Even the scratching is right there. She's looking at me. Or at you. That's what gives it a fashion look. And it's not down and point up at the eye. It's literally, we're focusing on this. Not the point of focus, but the plane of focus. And most of the stuff is shot at F11 anyway, so you could not have to reach up with you know and focus on your eye and down and just concentrate on this but um it's not a tilt up it's just straight on straight on straight on just like that As we go on with this, you can tell that it's just, it's always going to be the subject has power over the viewer. Try it. Just go shoot somebody like you normally would shoot. Most portrait photographers do it on eye level or above eye level. Go down, force yourself, and kind of center them right here and see if now they have a little bit of presence over you. Light it to make it flatter. You know, that's the whole thing. It's like, you shoot underneath someone, it's not very flattering, is it? Well, you know, granted, these are models, but CEOs aren't very flattering either. Light them so they're shadowed. Shoot underneath, they have presence. Um, I do it with kids a lot. I love shooting my boudoir, stuff like that, because now I'm empowering the woman as opposed to making her more, um, what's the word I'm thinking of, where it's, you know, submissive. I, I'm more of an empowering person. I want the woman to have power, kind of like the supermodel. And that's kind of one thing I do, I think, that helps with my images to have the look that they do. So, how's that for a tip?